Hi, I'm Andy Jarvis. So I'm uh, uh, the co-pioneer of this big data platform uh, that the CGI is setting up. I kind of helped get this thing going. I'm not leading it now, but uh, I also work here in SEAT, in beautiful SEAT in uh, Colombia. And you were talking at the beginning of the conference about four big changes that are making big data in agriculture possible. What are those four big changes? Yeah, so we think the timing's right for this kind of stuff because there are four things that have happened over the last five years, basically, that, that I think are game changers in, some, in terms of enabling big data to really kind of uh, penetrate agriculture or the kind of agriculture to digitalize itself. Um, and so one is uh, the issue of cell phones. I mean, you know, now these, you know, the opportunity with cell phones, they're everywhere. Um, the uh, data connections you can get across practically all parts of the world now. It's, it's, it's the coverage and if you look kind of projections for five years it's going to be everywhere. And there are more cell this phones is, this out there. This is both about collecting and delivering data. So it? yeah, it allows you to reach farmers and end users much more effectively and it allows them to communicate with the world much more effectively as well. So, so you go into the field now and you see you know, farmers with their smartphones, they're taking photos, they're sharing on WhatsApp. That fundamentally changes the way information can flow in the world. The, the kind of old context, con context of kind of extension arriving at the mm. farm gate is going is, is kind of to revolutionize in the next few years. And the second change is what? So the second one, we use the, the Internet of Things and smart sensors. So um, again, five years ago, science was all about creating uh, incredibly um, kind of complex uh, and expensive equipment to go out and measure things. Now you can have little tiny sensors, you can almost kind of throw them out onto the field and through they internet almost cost pennies really, and, and I've seen, yeah, the, for less than a dollar, soil moisture probes that you just throw out into the field and it's sending data. So that means we can collect a lot more information, we can uh, analyze a lot more, and then through mobile phones, send more, much more information, beam awesome. out to end users. The third big change. Analytics. Um, and so analytics is changing fundamentally our capacity when we have all of this data to make sense of it is uh, uh, again within five years now in terms of the, it always used to be a problem of processing mm. of having the computers big enough to be able to do this stuff now that's that's no longer the bottleneck really it's having the imagination of what you do with all of this data and the methods are, are, are mind-blowing in terms of fi figuring out signal from all of this noise and the other big trend that we forgot to mention was Satellites. And so satellite imagery. So that's the fourth big change, I think. I mean, I get incredibly excited when we see the quality of the images that are coming down. It's suddenly fit for purpose for agriculture. It's higher resolution, it's more frequent. And it, instead of kind of seeing these massive one pixel of several fields within one pixel, we can see individual fields. We can see individual even kind of trees and plants in some cases with some of this stuff. And that is another kind of massive game changer that's going to allow us to see way more. And there's increasing numbers of people providing that satellite data. And it's, and it's both revolutionizing in the private sector and the public sector. So there are the companies with these micro-satellites that you can hold in your hand. There's the NASA's and the, and the European Space Agency's putting out all sorts of satellites. You know, the bigger kind of platforms that are delivering incredible open access data as well.